Wednesday, where he was questioned for allegedly giving false information to vie for the gubernatorial seat in 2017. This being the third time the city boss is presenting himself before the ESCC, this year he noted that he will not be intimidated, nor bro Britain, describing the summons as a witch hunt. Before his arrival at the ESCC, police officers were forced to lob a tear gas canister to disperse his rowdy supporters. Jam Yukiboy with the details of this report. Nairobi Governor Mike Mbovi Sonko has now pointed an accusing finger on the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, ESCC, for being biased and frustrating him in his work. Their boss here, kuna nyumba mjuzi ya menu wapa to 50 million. Ila naishi sahi. They are on boss. Na hakuna mtu wamesema tu in a span of less than one year, unanua nyumba to 50 million, umetoka wapi yo, pasa umetoka wapi, wewe kama CEO. But staki kuwa personal na wawo, staki any time, when Sonko is being accused, any allegations level against him, and I discredit that, that respective uh, government agency. No, I'll never do that. According to the county boss, ESCC is out to frustrate him in his work, accusing him of his past activities and pending cases without proper evidence. Sonko was speaking to the media after the face off with the ESCC. <laughs> I have never been convicted. Na, I had more than 10 cases civil media on our side. But I've never been convicted by any case. Okay, so I have 10 pending cases. Niambia, who is the magistrate? The cases before which court? Who is the investigating officer? And they go to court where? The Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission ESCC investigators had summoned Sonko last week for allegedly lying in his self-declaration form when he sought clearance to contest for governorship in 2017. Before his arrival, the anti-riot police were forced to tear gas supporters of Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko, who were marching to the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission ESCC headquarters where he's being questioned. The journalist waiting on the governor were neither spared. Insiders within ESCC say the governor's tribulations are linked to possible records of court convictions which were not declared in the declaration form. The Nairobi governor now risks a five-year jail term or five million shillings fine or both if found guilty. Jamaki boy, KUT.